my gosh, I think I just got a package from Louis Vuitton. Hey guys, it's Erica, and in today's video, I am really, really excited to unbox this because it is something that I have been waiting for for a very long time, and I'm so happy that Louis Vuitton actually listened to their clients and did something about this handbag. So the bag that I have for you today is the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini. And this is the new version which they released in October of last year. And it has the one with the exposed zipper right here. So if you are familiar with the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs line, the lip of the handbag before used to come and just sort of cover the zipper so that you couldn't see the zipper area. But a lot of people were complaining that the zipper was so hard to get in and out of. And usually, I don't know, I don't think a lot of the uh, luxury handbag companies really listen to their clients. So I was very surprised this time when Louis Vuitton actually took the time to update their handbag and come up with a newer version. So this is the new Louis Vuitton Palm Springs for 2020 and it has a very, very nice zipper. It is so much easier to open and close this handbag now. So wait, let me show you guys on the inside. Um, this is the booklet that it comes with. It has a bit of like this air bubbles and of course it has the straps as well also in another pouch. So I do have a full review already on this handbag, so I won't really go into the details, but if you are interested, I will link, link it down below. And that one is on the older version, but what I wanted to do today is just sort of have some pictures comparing both the old and the new version. Unfortunately, I did forget to bring the old version with me, so I will just try to insert all of the pictures right here, just so that you guys can compare them side by side. Here I have the two Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini side by side. This one is the older one and this one is the newer version. So you can see right away what I'm talking about by the zipper being exposed on the newer version and this one having a larger lip. Well, it's not really a larger lip, but it's more pushed forward as compared to this one. So you can't really see where the zipper is. In terms of aesthetics, I actually kind of like the newer one better, but I've heard a lot of people say that they prefer the older one simply because it does look more aesthetically pleasing with the zipper uh, covered. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to open each one for you and you can judge for yourself which one is easier. Well, obviously the newer one will be a lot easier, but let's start with the newer one. So just opening like that it opens all in one zip and then let me close that off and then moving on to this older one this older one I tend to struggle with here at the corners quite a bit so every time I'd reach there I'd have to like pull a little bit and then yeah see it's stuck right here again and uh, what I usually do is I hold the lip here and then push it down so that's to open up the older one. And there we go. So that's what I mean about being super, super careful whenever I have to open and close this one. Although I still think that it is a really, really nice bag, but I think I am much happier with the newer zipper. And yeah, I will be listing this one available for sale soon <laughs> after this video. In terms of the other features, there isn't much difference if you push it to the back. It is exactly the same on the back side. And yeah, it still has the four D rings back there. And then to the side, it's pretty much completely the same. So it's really only the zipper part that, that changed. And then the top as well. So I'll show you guys the, the top handle. Yeah, still the same. And in terms of the size, it's exactly the same as well. At the both of them still have this pull tab at the bottom part. And yeah, I, I actually don't know what this is for, but it's super, super cute. <laughs> Anyways, that's my quick comparison of the two. 
Oddly enough, it seems that I lost the footage for the second half of my video. I don't know why this keeps happening to me. I think I forgot to press the record button and I thought all along it was recording. But anyways, I was talking about the zipper portion of this Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini and I just wanted to show you guys how easy this new version is compared to the older one. So even with like, uh, well, just one hand, well, okay, let me just try doing this with uh, one hand. Okay, no, maybe maybe you still do need two hands to open and close this handbag But it is a lot easier and the thing about this zipper is it doesn't get caught anymore in the lip So for the old version my problem with it was that it used to always get caught right here in between and it would take this lip along with it and then it would take the canvas along with it as well and that was just really um a hard problem like you really had to be very very careful when opening and closing the handbag and since this is something that you use when you want to be a little bit more carefree it just made the handbag a little bit difficult in terms of the usage so I am really really glad that Louis Vuitton listened and decided to do something in this newer version Anyways guys, for the next part of this video, I will do some mod shots and turning over to the back side, it still has the four D-rings in exactly the same placement as the previous version, which allows you to adjust the straps accordingly. So it comes with two straps and these are the two leather straps that it comes with. Right now I have it adjusted to the backpack version where you can put it on like the shortest length right there and yeah i find that the shortest length is the best for me because when i'm wearing it as a backpack because that is what is most comfortable and then let me just put it on for you guys so i will use both oops i think i have put it on backwards let me just put this on very quickly Okay, here we go. So for the backpack, I have the two straps on the four D-rings and it is on the shortest length right now. So of course you can wear it as a one shoulder backpack like that. And then um, you can also wear it as a two shoulder backpack. Really, really cute. I love the way that this handbag looks. And uh, yeah, I think it's super, super cute worn this way. And then you can also wear it as a full backpack. So this guy is pretty small, so you can't put in a whole lot of stuff on the inside. And the straps are pretty thin as well, so I wouldn't put anything super, super heavy. Although I, I don't know if you could put like anything heavy inside this because it is quite a small little guy. But yeah, um, the straps are kind of thin. I have seen some others, what they do is they actually use a different or a, a different wider strap. Louis Vuitton now has like the, the super thick straps which are very very popular right now and you can definitely use that with this handbag but unfortunately I don't have those to show you guys so I will just show it with the strap that it comes with. And then of course the other way that you can wear this handbag is you can just use one strap and wear it as a crossbody or wear it as a shoulder bag. So I'm just removing the straps right now. And then let me just put this on the other D-ring right here. Right now it is really really short so it's just going to be like a shoulder bag style but you can adjust this over down here to be a little bit longer. Let me just pull it out. This is really kind of stiff, especially when it is brand new, but yeah, you just have to sort of pull that. Okay, pull that right there. And then let me just move this upwards a little bit and adjust it to the longest length that's possible. And then just punch that back in there. Okay, so now on the longest length, you can wear it as a crossbody handbag. And that's how it looks as a crossbody. And for height reference, I am 5'4". So guys, what do you think of the updated Palm Springs Mini? 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also please consider subscribing as well to my channel if you haven't already. I do weekly videos on luxury and travel. Next week's video is an exciting one because I will be in Japan and I'll be bringing you guys along with me on my luxury shopping. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Have a great week and I will see all of you next time. Bye-bye.